Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So this was kind of unexpected. I've been playing around with UE5 and I wanted to show you their new modeling tools, which I think is super awesome. And especially how to get them from Unreal into Blender so you can build your own levels on top of them again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to Unreal. And I've just got the third person template up and running, which is all we need, uh, apart from the stairs. And what you wanna do is you actually just wanna to go to select mode and then modeling. And you see we get this massive list of features that we've got. I'm not gonna cover everything because it'll probably take quite a while, but I think you'll be able to go through and have a play around. But what I wanted to show you is this poly modeling section, specifically this cube generate. So create block out meshes using a re repositional grid. So if we select this, this is so cool. What we can do is we can select anywhere on this grid and if we left click and then drag, we can create a box. And now if we hold control and then drag out, we can actually generate objects from that position. And then let's say we wanted to go in, we can select these two faces and then actually hold control and drag down to then go inside of it. So what we could do is we could take this wall, bring it out, then we can select these faces and then go in and then kind of redo it and go through that way. I haven't played enough around to see if it has a Boolean feature for like making rooms. I wouldn't be surprised if it does, but you can see how easy it is to then take these and build just a small little place that we can jump into, run around, and then go inside of. And did I forget to do something? Or is it collisions? If it's collisions, what we might have to do is just browse to the asset. And then, nope, use complex collision symbol is all good. This is me debugging. This is the first time I actually tried it out. So, play collision. Oh, it's, it's the other floor mesh. <laughs> That'll be why. I just couldn't see it. So, we should be able to now go back inside and then have a walk around. It's too dark to see. But what we can do is we can use that tool to then create, let's say we've got a ramp. We want this to come out to about here. But if we deselect it or we just select off this mesh, what we can do is we can go to, if I can remember which one it is now, it is the poly define, which is a poly deform, which is deform meshes via polygons. What we can do is actually hover over this edge and then just drag down. And then we can actually modify these as we want them to be. So now we've got a ramp. We can also add some stairs in if we want. So we might need some stairs to get up to here. And I think there is actually a way to rotate So the minus 90. There's probably a shortcut for that. I'm just not too sure of it. So we can then just play around and we can add a load of new stuff in. So keep just going, control Z and it'll all snap as well, which is super useful. There's also features in here for deform, so like sculpting. So if we select this cube, we could do vertex sculpting or dynamesh, dynamic mesh sculpting. So we select this, we can then actually use the shift key to go through and actually model in it, which is absolutely insane. So now we can press play and we've got that mesh that we've sculpted <laughs> absolutely destroyed in our project and it looks like it's messed up a little bit more as well but eh, it's only an example then we've got what have we got there's voxels so I'm guessing this one would take multiple meshes and then kind of join them together I think that's what I'd imagine it to be anyway 
So yeah, it's joined the it's joined those as one mesh. Which is kind of helpful. I imagine you could do some crazy stuff with this. And it even has UVs, so you can auto unwrap. And then try that out. So you can see it's doing its thing. We can accept it. We can then unwrap it, project onto it. And there's even baking in here. So you can actually put textures on it and bake the textures to the mesh. So you can see how absolutely insane this is and how fast it could help you model something. So if we did the sphere and then radius subdivisions, we could actually change this to about 30. We'll do a new one. Then I imagine we could then do the sculpting in here. So sculpt, fall off depth, size, we'll make that a little bit smaller. And then we could drag all this out. This is so cool. What? Ah, oh, even fixes the topology as well. All right. This would, normally I've been doing videos on a Monday, but I think this one deserves to come out first. <laughs> so I'll put this pop this one straight away. Um, so we can take that. I wonder if we can just do remesh on this then. Ooh. Oh man, this is so cool. I wonder if it's got collision. It'll be so cool if it's got collision. It has collision. <gasps> oh my God. All right. I think we got the new like best feature we can have in Unreal. <laughs> this is friggin' wicked. Blocking out levels is gonna be so good. So, one thing we can do, actually, ooh, I wonder if we can set this to physics. Let's open this up a little bit. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Movable, it should have physics, shouldn't it? Let me try and see this. Enable gravity. Rendering. Do I need to enable anything for it? I don't know if physics is running by default. Um, simulate physics. I'm used to it being at the top. That's the thing. Nope. Okay, try and simulate physics. The part is starting component. It has complex as simple collision. So if we were to change that, project default, block all, then we can just collision, add sphere collision, save. Hopefully now we've got a ball with physics. This is so cool. All right, stop playing around in here. So what we want to do is let's say we've got this entire mesh. We want to put it into Blender. So we can build over top of it and do our final project. What we want to do is search in the top right here for static mesh. And we want to make sure all of it is set to static mesh. So we can just select all of these by default. Then if we go to actor and then convert actors to static mesh, we can say level prototyping. So level block out, hit save. That should take a second. And then once it's done, there we go. We can actually have this block out of our level. We can right click. We can then go to asset actions, export. Let's do desktop. We'll do level block out UE5. Save. Export. And now what we can do is you can open up your modeling software of choice. And we should just be able to actually drag and drop this in. So control A. Oh, what is happening? Hmm. There it is. A, delete all, file, import, FBX. Then we've got our desktop, level block out UE5. It'll take a second, because I imagine it's probably got some dense geometry in it. So it looks really bad, but you, as you can see, we've got our entire level in here. So if we add a cube, I have this set up. So it is, should be scaled correctly. So cube is two meters by two meters. 
So let's have a look in Unreal to see if that was the case. One by one. So if I change this to two by two, it will be the correct scale. Correct scale. So yeah, so it actually comes into Blender at the correct scale as long as you have your measurements all set up, I believe, if I can remember where they are. Units, so metric and then one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I kind of want to see what you guys come up with and how you just use it. Because these tools are absolutely awesome and it'll be wicked to see what people do with them and how they're used to create levels and all that. So rather than me keep talking, I will let you all go and have a little bit of experiment on this. Uh, please drop by the Discord and show me if you make anything cool, especially with the modeling, like sculpting stuff. Be absolutely wicked to see. Um, if you need any help, with Unreal or anything like that, make sure to head over to the Discord anyway. And then if you want some more help or to support the channel, feel free to head over to Patreon. Anything like a pound helps quite a bit. So until next time, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.